Hello and welcome back to Edinburgh for the exciting conclusion of the um, stagecoach slash cargo cart or whatever I've called it in all the other videos. So, um, as I said before, in my time on a tradition, I've jumped ahead slightly. There are many components to the stagecoach that I'm making, and the stagecoach itself is a little bit simple. I mean, you can always add your own details to it in, um, if you were to make one. Um, I will, if anyone um, cares for the information, give out the like, dimensions that I've done for this. But rudimentarily speaking, it's 75 mm The carriage itself is 75 mm long and 40 millimeters wide so it sits on our chassis that we made in the previous video it will sit on something like this there's a step to be added to the side i've decided um i've said about the um cargo car uh, um, several times now but i'm not going to worry too much about showing that off in this video uh, because there's not, nothing particularly special about it once you get past the uh, scope and scale of the chassis and the wheels because all it really is is a flatbed with some slightly angled sides um, slightly angled walls on three sides maybe you put a little seat across the front so that a farmer or something could sit up and um, be making his oxen drive the cart but uh, there's nothing really spectacular that hasn't been shown it's just slightly larger scale so what I'm focusing on the um, Stagecoach. So what I'm using, as as always, good old-fashioned balsa wood. Um, I've used to make a uh, rail across here. I made it. I just used a coffee stirrer. That was because there was a little bit of a structural problem. Uh, I had one of the sides it split when I was cutting it. I needed to do something that was going to reinforce it. So that's less a design feature and more a man necessary thing. If you're doing it out of cardboard, that wouldn't be something that would happen. Um, I've recessed the doors just so that it gives a little bit more of a three-dimensional feel to the actual thing. I know that the doors on an actual stagecoach wouldn't be recessed like that. I may also cut a cardstock rim that will make like a door frame around it. I'm still in the process of kind of figuring this out as I go. So door on, door on either side. I also have several other pieces cut out already like uh, the back which is going to have a wide window. So that will fit something like this. Then I have a pair of small slats that will fit across the top like this. They have to be trimmed to like 45 degree angles and stuff yet. That hasn't happened yet. Then I have the uh, main roof section, which is <laughs> sitting, yep, yep. Um, then I have the uh, front wall, which is exactly the size, same size as the back wall. I have the other 45 degree section. And then I had an off-cut piece, which I'm actually going to use along with a pair of matchsticks to make a, a, a like a driver's seat. So I'm going to have to make like a little step ladder down one side as well. I'm also thinking of adding maybe some lanterns to this and some other little embellishments. But for the time being, I'm going to get on and do some assembly, and then I will show you the um, it. I'll show you it, it assembled in its barest form, and then I'll have some parts laid out for. Um, the uh, like any embellishments that I'm thinking of doing and yeah so I will see, I will get on with that and I'll see you in the next part all right so I've gone ahead I've done a lot of fabrication work with the cabin um, there's um, there's a little bit extra I'm going to do which is because of this seam work around the edges I am going to use some coffee stirrers cut into pieces to just make a um, like a, a um, just an edging, just to hide some of the crimes. I'm not going to do it down the downwards parts because otherwise it's going to look too uniform. Uh, well, not uniform being the wrong, I think is the wrong word, but well, yeah. Also, I decided that it looked a bit bare, and I made the, I had the idea slash mistake to um, add these windows into the sides after I'd assembled it all. Problem being is that unlike this window here, which is just a piece of clear plastic that I used a sharpie to colour in to give it that blue tint and the crisscross lines are just black sharpie marker on there as well um, because it's now been assembled I can't attach anything to the inside to make actual windows so these are just like holes in the side now as long as there's not like anyone's too scrutinized like going hmm, on the inside of it during like a game or whatever else it's not really going to be immersion breaking because well it was never going to be like detailed on the inside anyway um, I've also gone ahead and put like this baggage uh, roof rack up here as well there's a seat with, I'm going to add like a little cushion or backrest to, um, or um, comforter thing onto the back of this just to make it look a little bit more interesting. 
I'm also going to um, rummage around and see if amongst all of my bits and pieces I've got any lanterns or similar that I can maybe hang off of parts of this. There's, so there's still some detail pieces. This is eventually going... This I need to cut the rungs and fit them probably about four rungs so that it's like a ladder for the driver to go and sit up there. And then we can, and I've also fitted a step here and a, I fitted a step to either side of the uh, chassis as well so that once it's all mounted together you end up with a pair, a pair of steps and then we've also got the hitch at the front. Um, so yeah, there's all of that. So it's been joyous to do. So um, I'm going to add the rungs, nothing interesting there, just adding some small pieces of um, matchstick. I'm going to cut... Um, <clears throat> I've got it around here somewhere. Uh -huh. Um, you get these styrene tubes. I'm going to just cut very small ringlets of those and fit those for like door handles. I'm going to put the uh, cover strips on that I mentioned before, the like fascia boards. Um, I may add some sort of detail across the back as well because I think that this is too large an area that's just flat. So I want to add something there. And then it'll be on to uh, painting. And then, well, f uh, painting and then final assembly. So yeah. Um, so I'll, ju I'll jump across to there. It'll be uh, all browned up the same sort of shade as this. And I'll talk about any uh, extra bits that I've added, um, any extra bits or paintwork details that I've added. And then we should be done. I'll see you, see you in a second. Okay, so I've uh, given it a, a few different shades of brown. I gave it the uh, same atypical dark brown, the burnt umber that I use for a lot of things uh, all over the place. Then I uh, gave it a, a dry brush using this, which is kind of a fleshy coloured brown. Um, I won't use Games Workshop's names because nine times out of ten you're probably going to try if you are trying to emulate this you'll find a cheaper paint to do so with um so i couldn't find any embellishments that i was really that interested in using i'm going to make a few lanterns um to fit to this um but however i added uh just an extra piece of a balsa wood to the back and to the front just to make them look a little bit more interesting as i said then flat areas i've um just gone ahead and hot glued the chassis to the base of the cart and then hot glued the wheels to the um, chassis. I ended up having to uh, tack the wheels because they were splaying ever so slightly. I've ended up having to tack the wheels also here to, um, just underneath each one of the steps so from the top down you can't see the tacking at all. Um, the um, rail, the like baggage rails at the top I gave a coat of a natural steel colour and I oh I dropped after I gave it a, a dry brush of the flesh coloured brown I used a um, a off white like a bone sort of colour just as a very very light highlight to pick up a bit of the wood grain and just to give it a few more highlights. So um, that is as it stands as I said the windows from like the angle that I'm showing you do doesn't look great because you can see straight through there. Although it's quite cool you can see the light coming through the window and it's making it look cool inside anyway um so the uh, door the door handles as well as i said they're just styrene and once again they've got painted natural steel so this is a um although now looking top down i can see that this isn't straight but still lovely um so this is my um stagecoach and <clears throat> I'm, as I've said before, I'm going to make the chassis the exact same and I'm going to make a, fr a freight car as well. So um, uh, that, that brings us to the end of a stagecoach. Um, as, I said, as I said at the start of the video, if anyone is interested in um, the like actual dimensions of like everything that I've made out of this and whatever else to try and replicate this probably more accurately than I've made it itself, um, I, will, I can do a write-up of all the parts that I've cut and whatever else. And how to do it. But other than that, I uh, hope um, hope you've enjoyed the show, and I will get on to making something else. See you guys in the next video.